Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. These are going to be love messages for my dearest Aries. Aries, before I get started, I'm just going to give a shout out to my girl Melanie at Kismet Crystals Tarot. Um, she has a beautiful online shop um, where you can find the best crystals and minerals. You can also follow her on Instagram at Starseeds Tarot for daily and weekly free mini readings. So make sure you do that. Um, all right, and let's go ahead and jump into this. So while I'm doing this, guys, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. And if you like the cards I'm using, I also have them listed in order of appearance. Also, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's see what's going on for my dear Aries. Messages for Aries regarding their current situation. All right, so the person that they're romantically linked to or that is most on their mind, what is going on in their current situation? All right, gifts. All right, beautiful. Um, karma. Ooh, all right. And past love. Okay. So for some of you guys, Aries, um, you may be, you may be receiving some sort of gift from a past person. Um, we see the ice King. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius or somebody who's just sort of had given you the cold shoulder is what I'm getting. Also, I'm getting another sort of message in here, Aries, for some of you guys. Um, there's somebody that has done you wrong in the past. You know, it's it's kind of like, an, I don't really like messages like this, but I have to be true to what I'm getting. Some of you guys, they're getting their karma for treating you poorly, and that's sort of making you feel kind of good, okay? So it could be somebody who ghosted you or somebody who walked away from you, somebody who treated you poorly, okay? You may be hearing about this. Um, but it could also be that somebody that it's sort of that you've been a bit distant from, okay, or somebody who is abroad or was traveling, maybe bringing you some sort of gift, okay? Um, you know, and you may have generated some beautiful past life karma or relationship karma in this lifetime. So the overall energy is you're coming out of conflict. So yeah, somebody here might be making up for something that they did or they said. Somebody from your past. Your person, Aries energy. Wow, you might be dealing with another Aries or fire sign. Leo or Sag, they want a new beginning. Oh, but Aries, they see that you walked away. Somebody's trying to win you back, Aries. That's what I'm getting. Um, what's hidden? The magician in reverse. Some of you guys, you're going to be getting this gift, whether it's communication, reconciliation, a physical gift, a new beginning when, uh, when we have Mercury in retrograde towards the end of the month. But we have the page of wands, a little bit of a reminder here to make sure that this person doesn't come in talking about themselves, that they're not in a selfish energy, um, that they're giving, caring, loving towards you. Okay. Some of you guys, you know, you have walked away from this person, so you're not really sure if you're going to accept them back or not. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on here. So tell me about the page, or sorry, the five of wands. So definitely coming out of conflict, you guys. Um, some of you guys have moved on from this person. The overall energy, seven of cups. So um, you may be getting a lot of different gifts. You might have a lot of people like after your attention, Aries. Okay. Um, there's a tough decision that you have to make. So make sure that you're grounded because I do feel like, you know, part of you, there's going to be some momentum and energy around this gift or around this communication that's coming in. But spirit doesn't want you to jump into or rush into things too quickly because your person is in this full energy. They're excited. They're reaching out. They're happy. They want a new beginning here. All right. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, Ten of Swords. There's been some sort of ending. It could be with a water sign. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody here also, you know, this could have been a situation where you were feeling really jealous. You were feeling emotionally imbalanced. There could have been somebody that also came in between you. But I feel like, Aries, you guys have walked away and you've really done the healing work. So you're in a place of balance. You're, you're feeling good. Um, you're going out with friends. You know, I think you've really put in the time trying to heal yourself after this ending. 
but somebody's going to reach out. They're a little bit nervous. They might also be feeling a little bit jealous if they see that you're getting a lot of attention. Okay, so just pay attention to that. What are their true intentions? Um, what are their motives for coming back? But I definitely feel like they don't want to let you go. They don't want to let you get away. That's why they're, they're, they want to come rushing in. But I still feel like you're not so sure about this. Page of Rods, there's a message and the Page of Swords. They've been watching you. This person is absolutely going to reach out. It's going to be passionate. It's going to be romantic. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be very, very obvious what they want. They're going to be authentic. I do feel like they're going to be sincere. They really do want a new beginning. I think that whatever this Queen of Cups in, is in the past, if it was somebody else or there was some jealousy, um, I think they're going to come in and they're, they're telling you that they've learned some lessons or they've changed. They really, really want another chance with you, Aries. Okay, but they're seeing you as having walked away. So let's go ahead and see the situation. So they know that, you know, there's some work for them to do. Um, they may also be somebody who doesn't give up. They're not just going to send you one message, okay? So we've got the Four of Wands. Yep, you guys are in separation. King of Swords. So Aries, um, they might be a little bit nervous about approaching you, but they absolutely are going to. They're seeing you as being a bit icy, maybe giving them the cold shoulder. They may have kept you waiting for a long time. There's definitely been some sort of separation. Maybe you guys lived together. Maybe you guys were married. Um, but yeah, they know that there was, they did something that created this ending or this conflict. That's what I'm getting. There's going to, it's Mercury retro grade is going to bring in some sort of um, unexpected offer or they're going to be opening up to you emotionally. They, they're really giddy. That's what I'm getting. They feel like a little kid again, Aries. Okay. And then we get the five of cups. Yeah, they're really heartbroken. They feel like they missed an opportunity with you, Aries. They either did or they said something. They're going to try to come in and make it up with gifts. All right, you might not even see this coming. I do feel like it's going to happen during Mercury retrograde. For some of them, they're really sad they're, that they missed an opportunity. They feel like there was some sort of misunderstanding or that you didn't hear them out or they didn't get to explain their side of things is what I'm getting. Okay, um, something could have happened while they were under the influence too. That's what, just, just a message for some of you. All right. The page of wands. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys, all right. Some of you guys, you are taking a look at all the hard work that you put into this situation. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Virgo. There's still a lot that's unknown. Okay. This person absolutely wants a second chance. They may not have given you any sort of stability. They may have been somebody that had one foot in the door, one foot out. Um, that's maybe why you walked away from them. But I do feel like this person, they've been watching, they've been waiting, they've been strategizing. They're trying to figure out how to get back in Aries. Now, for some of you guys, this person, you know, this message, you might be a little bit hesitant at first. Do pay attention to how they approach you, okay, what they say to you. If they're just coming in with passion, if they're just coming in and they're all about me, 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 okay, then you're going to probably turn this person down. But for many of you guys, this person is going to come in with something really beautiful, a gift, and it's going to be heartfelt. And if they come at you with the right energy, you're going to be willing to, you know, give this situation another chance, okay, Aries? So let's go ahead and see what other messages come through for you guys. Hmm. Double confirmation of that Ice King. So you, you may have air in your chart or you could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Soulmate. So your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Okay. Mm, different pages you and this person don't share the same vision or maybe you didn't in the past okay so just be aware of that friendship this friendship is leading to more okay so this person maybe you friend zoned them okay um or maybe they friend zoned you and you were like mm, sorry gone all right, and then we get leap of faith. There's that full energy. It's safe to make the move you're considering. This person is going to take a leap of faith towards you. They're going to tell you tell you like it is. They're going to tell you how they feel. They're going to tell you they have regrets. Um, you know, they also, they are concerned. That, like, I think also this person misses talking to you, misses hanging out with you. So it's like they are very passionate about you. But I think the way that they, they're going to come in and try to win your heart here is, you know, they might come in under the guise of being a friend. Um, you know, it might be like a, Hey, how's it going? Cause those two pages, you know, they're not rushing in as knights or Kings, you know, it's like, Hey, what's up? What you've been doing? You know, I miss talking to you, that type of energy. 
All right, this person is taking a lot of, it's taking a lot of courage for them to reach out. That's what I'm getting. I think they're obsessed about trying to find a way back into your life, Aries. Okay, and an external party is intruding on this relationship. Ooh, okay, so it could be that that's what sort of separated you guys in the beginning. For some of you guys, you're not going to accept their apology. You may have walked away because, you know, they may have been, um, they, they may have kept something secret, whether it was like they had a friend that you found out they were hooking up with, um, or maybe they, they were still, they were talking to other people. All right, Aries. Um, but you guys have strong chemistry. You guys have strong a strong magnetic pull between one another. Um, make sure this person isn't giving their attention to other people still, okay? Or giving their, their attention to other people that they're focused on you the way that you want them to. I do feel like they are. They're going to come in with some sort of gift. They want to take things to the next level, and it's definitely somebody you already know, okay? So again, it's going to be up to you, Aries. So forgiving and learning, new love, okay? So this could be a recommitment is developing. Um, it could be that you've moved on, Aries, okay? So this person, you know, because I do feel this third party, they could just be obsessed with trying to win you back, all right? So they want you to forgive. They're going to tell you they've learned some lessons here and true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. They see you as their true love, but at the bottom of the deck, Aries, we do get pay attention to red flags. Okay, so just make sure they're not talking to other people. Make sure that they're, you know, they're giving you the attention that you deserve, um, that they're not coming in with like a me, me, me type energy. That's not all passion because the seven of cups could be, could be that they have a lot of options. So if they're still sort of treating you like an option, you know, ego energy could be what's sort of calling them back in. You really need to trust your intuition because for some of you yes this is a karmic soulmate okay and you're gonna you're gonna send this person pack and you're gonna walk away but for others of you you're gonna be open to it they might sort of get under your you know get break down your defenses um they want a new start with you so it really depends on how they approach you aries um, the type of energy they're bringing to you and, you know, exactly true. But also what they did in the past that created this ending. Because I feel like you guys have worked very, very hard here to heal and to move forward. So I've been depressed lately. Things have been really hard. So if this person comes in and it's all about me, right? It's like the focus has to be on you, Aries. If they're just talking about themselves and they just kind of want to win you back, they make some sort of grand gesture, but their energy, they have to come at you correct. Are you in love with me or my potential? Yeah, so this is about really checking in here. Like, why do they want you back, Aries? What are they saying to you? Okay, is it like, I love you, I can't live without you, they want want to add something to your life or is it because something didn't go right for them so really make sure you're asking those questions I also feel you know the high priestess energy there still could be something missing it could be that they have true feelings for you that they love you deeply um, but we see I do miss talking to you so they do miss that friendship okay so you know I do feel like there is sincerity here but you you're gonna have to sort of you're going to have to sort of unpack what they're saying and how they're approaching you, Aries, okay? Sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.